In this video I will put text on a circular path. This is a request from a subscriber who asked for a 3D effect on a circular path. Now text on a circular path has been covered many times. If you click on show more below this uh, screen you will see two links to a websites that cover this in much detail but not with the 3D effect. So for uh, my subscriber I will now open up GIMP and put text on a circular path with a 3D effect. First we need to go to file and open a new file. The file is far too small and the pixel is only at 72 pixels per inch. So I go and pull down the template and click on A4. That gives me 300 pixels per inch and also I need to make the width the height is the same as the width, so I type in 209.97 and then click OK. The first thing I need to do is make a new layer and I make a transparency. You need to work on the transparency layer otherwise this text effect will not work. Now I go to guides, I need a few guides on board to get my things into place, so I go to guides new guides by percentage sometimes the script here is loaded down below you bring it up and the horizontal at 50 percent that's what I want click OK now go back to image guides once again because I need a vertical one so now pull down the down arrow and put in a vertical and click OK now go to my ellipse tool make sure you have a fixed expand from the center and a fixed ratio. Click both of those check boxes and put your cursor in the center and just expand out and give yourself a little bit of room. Now we go over to the channel, the layers channel and click on the path tab. Down here you see a little icon, click on that one selection to path. So click on that and it puts that circular mode circular on a path. Now I go to my text tool, click on it and choose a reasonably sized font, click on the fonts. Now the font I might by using may not be in your in showing on this the same as this one because GIMP 2.8 loads the fonts from your your font folder on your Windows or whatever it might be, Linux or or um, Apple. So I need to choose a reasonably sized font. Try that one there. Now it's far too small for this, this size image so I'll push this up to 200 and make sure I've got a reasonably sized one. Type in your text. I could increase that just a little. I'll just click on the tumbler there. doesn't matter if it runs off the screen a little because uh, when it puts it on the circular path it, uh, it'll bring it in, into view. Now we go to layers and here you have text along path. You click that one that places your text on the path which is the, which is the circle. We go back to our layers channel and we, the, the 3D effect text is uh, selected at the top we put it in the waste bin. Unusual. If you don't do that it will un you cannot get the effect you want. It won't select make the selection of the text. Then we go back to the path tool and click the rotation tool. In all of these uh, tools you select make sure you have this one here when you're working with the paths. Click on that one which opens up the uh, path tool. Click inside there for the rotation. The script is up the top there and just grab it and rotate your text to a reasonable centering and click rotate. Now we come back down to our selection on the circle. Put the eye on. Now we go to our flip tool. Click the vertical button make sure this little icon is selected again, the path icon, otherwise it won't work. 
click inside the, uh, the image and it flips it over. You can't, cannot see that because we're working on the layer. Now we go to our text and we type in what we want. We go to layers, text along path. And because I flipped it over, it'll put the text the right way up. Now I'll go back to my rotation tool and rotate that text. If you don't like the grid lines, you can come down here and turn the number of lines none, no guides takes them away so you can see what's happening a lot better. Just rotate the text so it sits on the path. Now you're rotating another path layer. It should do it. You can click rotate. Come back to the uh, dialog there. You come back to your layers dialog and delete that text. Once again if you don't it won't work correctly. Go back to your past uh, tab and click on that one. Turn the eye off, click on the top layer, right click it and merge visible layers. Go to select and select none. That turns that circle selection off. Down here in the past dialog or past channel, click on that icon there, path to selection. That selects all your text all the path text. Then we come over here to our foreground colour and we click on that and we choose a nice colour which I'll choose red. You can put in blends or whatever you like inside these uh, text once you've got them selected. We go to our bucket fill tool and we click on the radio button there, fill hole selection. Go into one of the characters of your text and click. That fills them all with red. While the paths are still selected change your colours back to black. That's that little icon there, it'll swing them all back to black. We go to select and we grow our selection. We grow it by two pixels. Click OK. Now we go back to edit and we stroke the path with uh, about four pixels. Just you bring that down so it, it'll, par it'll stroke it with a black. You click on stroke. Now you cannot see your effect until you switch the eye off on this on this uh, path uh, channel. If you don't switch the eye off th it won't work either. It won't work when you go back to your normal layers. You click off that. Now you can see your text. We go back to selection and select none. Now we go back to our normal layers channel. We duplicate that layer, that text layer. You can see now it's all been placed on a, a transparency one. We click off your main layer and the background layer. Turn both of those off. Now we go up to filters, blur and motion blur. In motion blur, if you click on the little compass point there, it'll show and we can move it down and have a look at a bit of our text. Now I bring the length of the blur, in this case up to 40. Now it all depends on your text you're using. If you're using a finer text, maybe not so high. And the angle, I move that one up to 30. and then click OK. That places the motion blur on that layer only. Now we repeat that blur another five times. We've got one, it's going to be six times. So we go one, two, three, four and five. That's given me the blur I want. And because I've got the uh, the main layer one turned off and the background layer, I just right click the top one and merge visible layers. That's right down the bottom there. Click on that one and over in the dialog there you click merge. And it brings them all down to one. Now I turn my eyes back on. 
on the top layer, which is the blurred one, I put it below, in between the main layer, which is our text layer, using the down arrow. And now you've got your nice little effect. We go over to Image, and we turn off the guides. We go to Guides, Remove All Guides. Just right click the top layer and flatten image. I'll go to my magnifier just to give you some idea how well it came out. There it is there. That's uh, text on a circular path of the 3D effect. Now there's over 36 steps in this tutorial and if you click on the more show more button down below there's a link to a website with a printout of all these steps to uh, get this effect.